All right, I thought what we could do here is a, a couple of examples out of the packet together to kind of get you guys going on the rest of uh, Section 6.2 so that you guys can complete that and be ready for the, uh, the quiz tomorrow, which is supposed to be over 6.1 and 6.2. I thought we'd start by looking at page 11, problem number 25. And let me discuss here how we should uh, go about applying all this trig stuff we've been doing to uh, setting up an approach to solve a word problem. In 25, we've got a plane that's flying within sight of the Gateway Arch in St. Louis at an elevation of 35,000 feet. It says the pilot would like to estimate her distance from the arch. She finds her angle of depression to a point on the ground directly below the arch to be 22 degrees. What is the distance between the plane and the arch here for part A? All right, if we, uh, if we draw out what's going on, we got the arch. We know that's down here on ground level. We've got a plane flying apparently within sight of the arch, so I'll put my plane up here. And the information we know about the uh, plane's elevation is that the plane is 35,000 feet off the ground. So if I measure this plane down to the ground, I know that's 35,000 feet. The pilot would like to estimate her distance from the arch and she finds her angle of depression to a point on the ground directly below the arch to be 22 degrees. So angle of depression, if we take the line of sight of this plane, if we take the horizontal line of sight as that's called, if we're looking up off of that horizontal line of sight, this angle that's created is known as the angle of elevation. But if we're looking down, which is the case here, we're looking down to some point there at the base of the arch, that's the angle of depression, and that angle is given on this problem to be 22 degrees. So this is all of our given information and you'll notice that a right triangle is starting to be formed here and that's the key on these problems is once you set everything up you should have some right triangle to work with. For part A again it says what is the distance between the plane and the arch? So the distance between the plane and the arch, if I highlight that, that's going to be this distance right here. So since this is for part A, I'm going to label that A. That's what I need to find to answer this question. As far as what else I know, well, I know something about parallel lines from geometry. Like if this is 22 degrees, that makes this 22 degrees down here. Uh, another way you could look at this too, because we know this measurement of 35,000 feet down to the ground, that's going to form a right angle right here. We know that we're going to have to have a right angle to work with for this particular part. So if this is 22 degrees, take 90, subtract 22, that makes this 68 degrees. Of course, we also could have found that if we look at this right triangle as a whole, knowing that this is 22 degrees down here. But basically, you want to have a right triangle set up somehow. Um, you want some angle measures to play with. And then we need to know at least one side on our triangle because chances are we're going to have to find another side to that triangle. So here, if we're trying to figure out what A is, and I select an angle to, to focus my attention on. Let's go ahead and focus in on, it doesn't matter here, but let's go ahead and focus in on the 22 degrees. If I let the 22 degrees kind of guide me through the rest of this problem, start setting up my sides based off of 22 degrees. 35,000 feet would be opposite the 22 degrees. And what I need to find here, being A, that's the hypotenuse. So I think about my trig ratios that I know, and I think about the trig ratio that has to do with opposite and hypotenuse, that would be sine. I'd want to take the sine of 22 degrees and set that equal to my opposite side value of 35,000 over my hypotenuse that I need to find, which is A. So if we're going to solve for A, 
to multiply both sides by A. That allows me to cancel the A from over here. I have A times the sine of 22 degrees equals 35,000. Where now if I want to get A by itself, divide both sides by the sine of 22. That'll shift it over here. If I do that calculation then, that'll give me my value for A. So the calculation comes out to be, it looks like 93,431 point, if I round off say one decimal place, four feet. That would be my distance that the plane is away from the arch. Now for part B, it says what is the distance between a point on the ground directly below the plane and the arch? Pretty much got everything set up already that I need to figure out B because I still got that same right triangle to work with. But if I highlight the side of that right triangle I want to find now, being a point directly below the plane to the arch back here, I want to find this side. If I label that B, if I work off of the same angle as before of 22 degrees, well, let's see here. B would be the adjacent side to that 22 degree angle measure. And as far as a known value that I started with of 35,000 feet, that's still the opposite side. And I'm going to go ahead and stick with the, uh, the original values that were given. It doesn't matter at this point. If I wanted to use the hypotenuse that I found of 93,431.4 feet, I could. But to me, it just makes more sense to stick with what was given in the first place. I'm trying to figure out B, knowing I have the opposite and the adjacent sides to work with. Opposite and adjacent, the trig ratio that comes to mind would be tangent. So I'm going to take the tangent of 22 degrees, set that equal to opposite 35,000 over adjacent, which I've labeled as B. And now I'm going to go through and solve for B, essentially the same way that I, I solved part A, the way we set that one up. In the end, if I solve for B, B is going to end up equaling 35,000 divided by the tangent of 22 degrees. So if I calculate that now, you find that B ends up equaling, again, I'll round off to one-tenth here, 86,600 and 28 point, that'll be zero feet on this one. So that's how we set up at least one of these word problems. And again, our goal is, as we draw things out and we label the pieces we know, we should have some sort of right triangle we can work with, where if we incorporate a trig ratio, we can find the answer we're looking for. All right, as long as we're uh, talking setups here and we're on this page anyway, if you look at number 26 now, I'm not going to go through and, and solve 26, but let's at least discuss how we're setting that one up. In 26, it says a 96 foot tree casts a shadow that is 120 feet long. What is the angle of elevation of the sun? So if I draw out my, my tree here, Apparently that has a height of 96 feet. So we'll measure from a point up here down to the ground. That'll be my 96 foot distance. It says the sun is casting a shadow that is 120 feet long. So if I place my sun over here, That sun is going to cast a shadow down off of this tree. All right, so the sun is casting the shadow down. Length of that shadow, this would be my shadow over here. That's going to be 120 feet. We're asked here to find the angle of elevation of the sun. So basically what that is 
asking us to do. It's asking us to find this angle right here. So I'll label that with a variable of theta, which means if you've got somebody standing here at this point on the ground, they're looking up towards the sun, they're creating that angle of elevation, that's what we need to find. So obviously we've got a, a right triangle here if we're assuming the tree standing straight up at a perpendicular angle. And that gives you a right triangle you can use to help you find that angle of elevation. All right, know what, as long as we're at it, since we set up 26, let's just turn the page to uh, page 12 there, and let's look at number 27. Kind of on a roll here in setting up these problems. What can I say? This is fun. I know I'm sick. But if you look at 27, let's again, let's just talk about the setup uh, to approach this problem. It says a water tower is located 320 feet from a building. From a window in the building, it is observed that the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 39 degrees and the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower is 25. For part A, we want to determine how tall the tower is. For part B, we want to find how high the window is. I usually get a lot of questions about this problem anyway, um, and I think it's because of the setup. So let's see if we can map out the setup. We've got a building. Apparently, we've got some guy up here in the building, looking out the window, he enjoys observing water towers. So somebody's looking out that window, out to a water tower. So here's my water tower. And as this person is looking out the window to the water tower. What we know is that the water tower is 320 feet away from the building. So along ground level here, say from this point to this point, that's going to be my 325. This person who's looking out the window, the horizontal line of sight, would be out this direction, and that horizontal line of sight would run parallel to ground level. So that means if we've got an angle of elevation created to the top of that tower of 39 degrees, we could build that angle right back here. We're looking up off of our horizontal line of sight. That would be the angle of elevation. That's the 39 degrees we're talking about. That means the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower, so working off the horizontal line of sight, looking down to the base of the tower, that creates my angle of depression. That's going to be 25 degrees. You can fit that in there. What we should start to notice, and we can appreciate this more because of the questions we've got, uh, if we fill in a line here for our height of the tower, top to bottom this way. You can assume that that line we're drawing is forming a right angle off of the horizontal line of sight. If we know that horizontal line of sight is running parallel to the ground, this distance right here is going to have to be 325 feet. So we've got two right triangles to play with. And both of them, it'd be really nice to know, basically, this piece right here, which you could label as one part, and then this piece down here, which we could label as another. So choose some variables for those pieces. The, uh, the purple line I've drawn here, that's going to give you an idea of the height of the window, because we're running parallel to that height over here. And then if I know that height for the window and I tack on the, uh, the green line I've got drawn up here, well, that'll give me the height of the water tower. So hopefully that setup will assist you here with uh, problem number 27.